joining me. Um, Jack was over last week and we were doing some cake pop tutorial classes that we were putting together. We did a pumpkin, a latte, and an apple last week. And I always, you guys have been with me enough to know that I always make extra ones. Well, last week I only had a few sticks left to continue the classes when we were doing it that I had already dipped in chocolate. Now I double dip my cake pops. Um, I do that because there is the oil, the oils and the butter, the, the fat content that's in your cake mix. Whenever you go to make cake pops the way I make it, that oil will sometimes, that butter fat will leach into the stick causing a yellow stick. So if you double dip your stick, you, you pop it in the chocolate, let it dry on there. I usually do about an inch. I don't think that you can actually see, maybe you can see there's about an inch that I've dipped in white chocolate. That way um, it creates that barrier between the butter fat and the paper on the stick and you don't get that yellowing at all. So normally it started out, I was making um, peanut butter eggs on a stick and my sticks would just turn terrible yellow and it took me a long time to figure out what was going on. So now I actually do a double dip when I know that there's a lot of oil. Some of my recipes use a lot of oil, some use a lot of butter. So if I use those recipes, I always double dip. <laughs> the one that we weren't quite done. So I just grabbed extra sticks that I did not dip in chocolate to finish out the classes so that we could get the recording done. And lo and behold, I was going to finish off the rest of the cake pops last week, but I got so busy doing some other things that I just left them sit. Well, this morning when Jack got here, I, had, I was so excited to show him that it really does work and the proof is in the pudding. So these cake pops here were ones that, I'm gonna put a close up. They were, they were the ones that were dipped in chocolate. I don't know if you can see on this one, the chocolate, you can see where it's already been dipped and my sticks are white. Now, here are the ones that I did not have dipped in chocolate. And look how yellow those sticks got. I know everybody, if you do cake pops, you are familiar if you have any kind of leakage in your cake pops, just um, how it leaches down in that paper. So here it is, the ones with the chocolates been dipped already. And here are the ones that have not been dipped and the leaching that's taking place. And this is after eight days eight days this has been sitting here like this and my lollipop sticks that have been dipped are still nice and white nice and white versus the ones that were not dipped and they were they have leached the oils and the cocoa butter so i just wanted to jump on there real quick to show you the difference um and that little extra step makes a huge difference in the longevity and the nice the way your cake pops look and stuff like that so i just wanted to show you the difference again real quick this one was dipped this one was not yellow and white you can definitely see the difference here in the two and this is after eight days eight days it was an accidental experiment. I just didn't have time to go back and actually finish what Jack and I started last Monday. And so today when he showed up to do some recording, um, I had to show him the difference. So you guys would actually know that yes, that is what is, um, that's what I'm talking about when I say that I'm double dipping that stick to keep that barrier between the cake pop and the paper on the lollipop stick. <laughs> 